This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all okay. We are in Coventry. If you saw my last video, we got loaded with bolt bags. Uh, we're currently on top of the trailer right now, just getting them all taken off. Uh, we've got 25 bags coming off here in Coventry and then we need to go to um, <laughs> where are we going next? I think it's Worcester. I think it's Worcester. Um, for the other 25 to be taken off so we've got 50 bags in total. Um, but yeah this is basically a carry on from the last video so hopefully you enjoy it. Let me show you what we got on exactly. So these are the bags. It's filled with topsoil to grow your, uh, your plants and stuff. Another one coming off there. But yeah, 25 bags have got to come off here. And then um, 25 bags at the next one. So we're just on top of the trailer right now, just getting these ears out so it's easier for the forklift to get in and pick them up. That is that is our job. There we go. Do that one as well. And then they can just take them off there, just like that. I try to keep it real on my channel. Um, you know, this is the job. <laughs> I show what it is like to be a truck driver, so it, it involves getting up on the bed and helping out. It's not just uh, sitting and driving, sometimes you've got to get up on the bed, sometimes you've got to carry stuff, otherwise known as handball. You've got to net the load, because this is the other thing, right? the load's all netted, so I've got to net, net this back up and strap it all. It's all part of the job. Oh, and that's as well, you want me to do the old as well? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah, do this one and then that'll be that this side then. There we go, so last one to come off on this side is that one on the top. And then these four here, five more to go and then we'll be done. Okay, so this is the last one to go. So we'll just get the ears out ready for them. Lovely. So hopefully they can now grab that and we just gotta put the net back over this one. It's really fine, really fine stuff and the window just blow it away. So uh, it does have to be netted. So yeah, we just grab this net, put it over. We'll put all these cords on in a second once we're down there. Make sure this is up as well. This excess bit will be strapped down. Lovely, right, let's go strap it up. Okay, and put that under there. Lovely. So now we're re-strapped up, re-netted. We can continue to the next drop. Which I think it's Worcester. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, so we're going to Kellaway Building Supplies in Worcester. ETA there is about 10 o'clock. Depends on traffic. Uh, yes. And then I do believe from there we're going back to Tetbury to reload to go out somewhere else. I'm not sure, but we probably will be back to Tetbury until like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Don't know. I'm waiting to get out. At the moment there's a forklift right next to me. So if I move and start turning, I'm going to be in his way. <laughs> I was just waiting for this forklift to move on the left. All right, he's moving now. Lovely. Let's make our way out of here. I'll tell you what I like about this place is that it's a delivery only depot. There's no customers. Um, it's purely deliveries. It's like a warehouse, essentially. Oh, we need to turn a bit sharper. I missed that pile of brick. Like so. Yeah, so yeah, it's literally deliveries only, which means there's no customers, which means they haven't got to keep stopping to on Logi to serve customers. So yeah, good place. Enjoyed it here. Say bye to him. See you later, mate. So yeah, lovely. I was a little bit concerned when I come down here to begin with, because it's like in a housing estate. And also, it's not on Google Maps, this place. Um, so it wasn't actually telling me, well, I didn't actually know that this is where I needed to be. Um, I need to be right where you are to make this turn, mate. 
They should be able to make it still. Yeah. Lovely to room. Yeah, so I was, I come down here on a bit of a whim really. Um, <laughs> but also, I realised I could turn around if I had to, so no big deal. But it's literally in like a housing estate though. And we come from the right, which is a very tight turn. We're turning left this time. Clear to the left, clear after this car. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, I mean, sat down the same, we should be there at 10 to 10. Um, but like I said, that is also traffic dependent. We might get caught in traffic, I'm not sure. Um, just see what happens. We want to turn right at these lights. So I'm taking up both lanes, just in case I need it. I think even if I was in the right hand side lane fully, if I turn right, the trailer's going to cut out a little bit on the back end. Bit of trailer swing, well, that sounds beefy. But also it could be one of these traffic lights where they let one side go first. Like it might be a left only turn, green light coming on in a minute and I'm blocking the lane then. But never mind. No, they're letting us both go, look. Lovely. We'll just stay in both lanes just to be safe. Like I said, not because I can't make the turn in the right, right lane, but it just protects vehicles on my left from, uh, from a trailer overswing on the back end. Lovely, lovely. Um, so I think Kieran is running the show at the moment. I think the boss is on holiday. So um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's happening. I'm pretty sure it was tip at Worcester. They were classified as two local runs. Go back to Tetbury, reload, and then do another two deliveries, I think. Um, I can't see it happening. I can see one being dropped off, potentially. Depends on where they're going, I suppose. But it might very much be a case that if I do have to do those deliveries today, we get one done, and then do a night out somewhere, and then do the other one. <laughs> Cross the road, mate. <laughs> I realised the lorry was coming, he started running. So yeah, I mean, we just, uh, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there with regards to whether we do a night out tonight or not. You know, that's all part of the job. Like I said, I try to show the industry the good, the bad, the ugly, how it is. I, know, I like the job. I like my job. I love it, in fact. Um, I love the freedom. I love getting out and about, going to different places, meeting new people, exploring, essentially. I do enjoy it. I love the challenge of the loads that we carry. Sometimes they're really difficult. They keep you on your toes. I love the anxiety sometimes of going down some tight country lanes. Um, I just love it. It's a bit of a buzz um, for me. And I just try to show that for everyone else to see. Um, you know, there's no gimmicks. It, it, this is the job. I have a truck that breaks down every now and then. You know, I have things go wrong. It's all part of the job. Um, you wait around for hours and hours sometimes. It's frustrating, but it's the job. I don't try to glamorize it. What are you doing? Um, just show it for what it is. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Is that a camera on that car? Not sure. Yeah, it's got a speed camera sign. Is it detecting speed in road users while driving itself? Don't know. Never seen one of them before. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna crack on to Worcester. I shall see you in about an hour's time. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, you join me in Worcester. We are still about, uh, well, over one and a half miles away still, so we are quite far away. But I thought I'd start filming from here. Lots of roadworks happening as well on the roundabouts back there. Lots of roadworks. Um, the time is 10 o'clock right now. Um, so yeah, I did say including traffic, it should be around 10 o'clock. And it has proven to be the case. I'm gonna assume we're here for about an hour. Normally that's what you'd say, about an hour. But um, I was only at the other place for like 30 minutes, 35 minutes, weren't there for long at all. So hopefully it's the same for this place. Um, I did speak to Kieran and I do think it's back to Tetbury to load up for two, lo two more local runs, but <coughs> time's, time's getting on, man. Like, <laughs> I was saying to him that only one's gonna get done and if we're held up here too long, none of them's getting done. So we, he just said, see what you can do, so. 
that is what we would do. We'd just see what we can do. Take it as it comes. I ain't going to worry about it. So, is this in another house on the state, like the one earlier was? Because we're going past houses. There's no weight limit or anything down here. and didn't, didn't say no trucks. There was a sign saying truck straight on. Brown sign. But that's just um, telling you which road trucks should use, not which road trucks have to use. There was no weight limit, width limit, height limit, nothing to say a truck couldn't go down that road I've just been on. So we're all good. Plus, we're turning right at this roundabout, so the only other option would have been to come in from that way, which looks exactly the same. <laughs> it's another one at the back of a housing estate by the looks of it. Weird. Again, we need both lanes to make this left turn. We got to the roundabout before that car, so he can wait, he or she. Left down here. Yeah, look, it looks a bit snug down here as well, look. Well, we've got a van there, so looks like builders merchants could be down here. Never been down here before, I don't think, but it does look familiar. Very, very snug. Maybe trucks aren't supposed to be down here, I don't know. So there's a juice they get delivery drivers come on in, so. <clears throat> Gotta be the right area. Or maybe, I don't know, I'll ask which way trucks normally come in. Maybe they're coming from the opposite direction, I don't know. Anyway, Kellaway. See the sign, they are there on the left. All clear. See, there's plenty of room down here, though. And then they're just here on the right. This looks like it's abandoned, so I'm pretty sure I can block this path here, plus the gate is shut. Um, yeah, just wait here. Hazards on. I'm gonna have to go on in and speak to someone there's a forklift just there so if I'm quick I can grab him see you in a bit right we're taking the straps off just getting the post um, yeah taking the straps off just got to take the net off now so just got to take all these bungees off and then we'll jump up on the trailer and um, roll the net up I also need to Try and get some WD-40 because I need to do some maintenance on my ratchets. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you about that in a sec. Let's get this net done first. Right, net is off. Just get, got to get the post now and start sorting out these ears. Um, we are still in the exactly same place where we stopped. He said he's going to uh, tip us on the road. So there mustn't be much space in there, I don't know. Uh, he just said tip us on the road, so... We'll get everything done and just wait for him. But yeah, we need to get some WD-40 for these uh, ratchets because they've gone a bit rusty. And although they work fine, in the sense of um, doing them up, they're actually a bit stiff. Uh, the rust is like stopping me from doing them up like this one though. So it's very hard. So I need to get some WD-40, give them all a bit of a lube, and then it'll be a bit easier for next time. Ah, they don't sell any WD-40, but he gave me some chain lube. Well, I say Gabe, he's let me borrow it, but spot on, fantastic. That'll do the job. So there go, uh, go lube him up. <laughs> so, to give you an example, look. <laughs> yeah, very stiff. Give it a quick spray. Much better. Now I've got to do that for more. <laughs> and that, by the way, was on one that I could get to work. There was others. Is this one? There were others in here. No, that one works for now. Let's try this one. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Unusable. Spray it. Now it's usable. Okay, 
Okay, all done. So now we've got 14 ratchets that actually work. And uh, yeah, we tried doing it this morning, but there's no chain loop in the office. So I was have to wait until I get to one of these destinations, but at least that's done now. It means we can, uh, when we do get fully loaded next time, we need more ratchets, we've got them. Okay, situation report, been in nearly an hour now. Uh, it's 11 o'clock and um, we've got one more bag left on this side and then we've got to move over or spin around to do the other side. Um, not to the quickest tip, but like I said earlier, things happen, you get held up sometimes, not a lot you can do about it. Um, yeah, been here nearly an hour already and only one side. Right, we are now spun round. Um, so I'm now facing the correct way to get back out, which is down there. Um, so yeah, we're just getting this side done now, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more bags to go. He is taking on average about three minutes a bag. Yes, I'm counting. <laughs> so hopefully another half an hour and we'll be out of here. Fingers crossed. As for the time, it is 11.13, look, so yeah. Hopefully half an hour from now, so 43. If we're out of here by quarter to 12, that'd be good. Do need to have a half an hour break on the way as well. Um, quarter past 12, uh, sorry, yeah, quarter to 12, quarter past 12, and then I think it's like an hour and a half. Quarter past one to quarter to two, so we should hopefully be at temporary by two o'clock, hopefully. Trouble is, if we're there for an hour to get loaded, that's then three o'clock. Chances are, wherever that delivery is going first, is not gonna be there by four o'clock. Most places don't take deliveries after four o'clock. So that's frustrating, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Right, last one, the last bag, finally. Um, and it's half past 11, so a little bit quicker to the last bit. The time that's off and we get paperwork, probably might be quarter two. Um, hopefully it'll be on the road by then, fingers crossed. See, like right now he's sorting out another customer. He's picking up a bag and he's gonna take it over there. So that's why sometimes it takes a while to do it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we just keep waiting. Right, we're fit. It's 11.42, kind of um, pretty much when I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh mate, he was a really friendly guy, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah slow taking off and um, it doesn't help when they got to take it half a mile down the bloody road to park it up where it needs to go that don't help at all but never mind we're done we're done we're done we're done we're gonna make our way to Tetwig now we should be there for one o'clock we do need a break but I had a 15 minute break earlier so I'm okay for the working time directive because obviously you've got to have a break every six hours um, so I'm okay for that. And I've got enough drive time to get to Tetbury. So I'm gonna to get to Tetbury and probably get loaded and then have my half an hour break on the road out, um, which will be legally required before I go any further because of both working time and working time. No, because of driving time and working time directive. Uh, we're on three hours and five minutes driving now. We're an hour and 15 minutes away. So we should turn up on about four hours and 20 minutes, maybe four and a half, if there's a lot of traffic, speed bump. Um, and obviously you can only do four and a half, so it's, it's borderline pushing it to get there, but I reckon we can get there, plus there's, there's space we can go park anyway. We can park at Siren Sister Services, because um, we've got to pass that, so I can reevaluate time, see how we're getting on. If we're not gonna make it, then I can park up there. Um, you're, to, you're coming right, and then you go first. So yeah, we are gonna head towards, um, did I come in this way? Oh, yeah, I think I did. We are going to head towards um, to Tetbrain and try and get there in one hit and then we'll have a break once we turn up. Might have to have a break before we even get loaded because we might run out of driving time. But we'll see when we get there. Oh look, there's a, a harbour with lots of boats. You can't see. I don't know why I said look, there's a hedge. You can't see anything. <laughs> lots of canal boats. Go slow around this corner in case any vehicles are coming around. Bit of a blind bend. Yeah, there's one there, look, but loads of room for him. Thank you.
get past all of these cars. And there we go. Um, yeah, I will need to make a phone call because although I've been told to go to Tetbury, I haven't been given a reference or anything, so I um, don't actually know where I'm loading for. Just have to readjust my mirror so I can see clearly. Let these cars go first. Go after the silver. Thank you. Lovely, 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 lovely. Anyway, so that's us now leaving Worcester. Don't think there's going to be anything eventful to show from here on out. Exiting Worcester, I mean. So we'll, uh, we'll crack on to Tetbury and I shall see you in a little while. Okay, a bit. Right, we're loaded. Looks a bit ugly on the back, but we've had to crisscross because that pallet's a bit wobbly. But uh, it's on. We're, uh, we've got to crack outside now. We haven't had our break yet, so... We've got to go and have our half an hour break now. Should so hopefully be done by half past two-ish, something like that. Oh, okay, engine off. Right, I've done that as quickly as I can. I'm really hot and sweaty now. Just so I can get on brake as quickly as I can. Right, let's put on brake, we're on brake. 4.29, we literally have only got another minute to spare um, before we run out of time. So we've got that done just in time. Half an hour break we need, um, which is going to put it half past two. I'm not sure it's going to get made today. We are really up against it. Uh, oh man, really hot now. <laughs> um, yeah, just gonna spend this half an hour just cooling down. Really, really hot. Let's undo the window, the other window. Let some breeze come in. Oh, no, no, it's gone everywhere. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. <sighs> right, let's just relax for half an hour and then um, we'll see what we can do after our break. I think it depends on traffic. I think it's very tight at the moment. So we'll see if traffic eases up or not. Okay, one more minute and we can go. We have had confirmation that this isn't being delivered today now. This will be delivered we'll tomorrow. To That's a RETA to the yard. We gotta go drop this trailer off at the yard now, swap over to another flatbed and then go to check and get loaded. Um, for tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow morning, we do that delivery of the pallets, go back to the yard again, pick up this trailer, and then do these two deliveries, which will either be in the next video, or not at all, not sure yet. <laughs> but I am gonna carry on vlogging today. Um, so I will see you probably in the yard when we get rid of this trailer, and we uh, swap over to the, uh, the red flat. No, not the red flat, the black flat. I think it's the black one, I think. I'll double check. <laughs> okay, we've dropped the trailer. We've now got this black flat bed. Uh, we dropped. Where did we drop it? It's over there. It's over there somewhere, you can't see it. So we're going to crack on now to check. And uh, we're going to get a load of these pallets. Okay, we just got here. We are now at check. We are about five trucks in the queue. So it's not too bad. It's about 20 minutes a truck on average. So I reckon we'll be here at least an hour and a half. The time now is uh, five past four just gone. No, nearly five past four, I should say. So let's see where we are come half past five this afternoon. I think half past five is a reasonable. I would, I would hope to be out of here by six. <laughs> but we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Right, we are loaded. Yep, I think, I think we're done. Yeah, we He's pushing them on the back. <laughs> We've got to strap them up yet. I think he's done. We're still, we're still being pushed around here. What they do is they put them on the back and then they sort of ram them in just to squash them all up. There we go, we've been given a toot. Right, let's go and do them all up. It is, turn the engine on, um, 20 past five. So, yeah, 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 20 past five, so um, yeah, let's go. Yes. Let's get all this strapped up, look. Right, that's the straps thrown over. We just got to do the ratchets now. These ones don't need any lube. They're all, they're all pretty much brand new, look. No rust on these beauties. I might nick them. <laughs> might have them on my trailer. Right, strapped up. Gotta go grab our paperwork now. Put a strap winder in. Only missed one. That's good. 
go get our paperwork. Thank you. Right, let's get back to the yard then. There she is. Right. This can come off. This can stay on. <laughs> I ain't that sort of channel. There are, uh, I think there are some social media influencers, mine, that will show you their tits. Uh, but they're much better looking than I am. I don't think mine was south <laughs> for, for very much. Um, right, so, yes. We are loaded, we are strapped up, we're good to go. It's 20 to 6, so it's 10 minutes after I sort of said that it would be good to leave by, so to speak. Miller Stone House. What I'm doing now is I'm just putting the destination into the sat-nav. I know how to get there, but it's just there ready for the morning. Drive. I also want to put our work as a add to stop, which basically makes it a, uh, a multi-drop. Okay, let's get crack a lack in. That can go up, that can go up. Um, so yeah, not too bad. I think we turned up... What time did we turn up? It must have been like quarter to four, four o'clock. Can't remember now. It wasn't like too long ago, so... It's quarter to six now, so like two hours tops. Which, for Chef, is really good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I think it's been in enough of my videos recently that uh, you know we can be here for a long time sometimes. Uh, two hours is actually pretty good. When we turned up, we were like number five or six in line, which is, uh, you know, really good. By the way, I'm not sweating profusely. Is that, is that the word? Went to the toilet when I got my paperwork and I uh, wet my hair. Just not sweat, honest. <laughs> right, let's, um, let's head back to the yard. See you when we get there. Right, here we are. We are back in the yard back in the yard for the third time today because we obviously arrived this morning then we come back this afternoon dropped the red no not the red the blue trailer which i loaded earlier uh which we'll see in a second and then obviously we come back again with uh with these pallets you should see the trailer that i got loaded in this moment yeah you can you should see it around about now so, uh, yeah, I got that trailer loaded earlier, that blue one. Where are we parking? Where are we parking? Is there room in here? Or is there a vehicle there? There should be room. Should be room. Let's line ourselves up. I think Melissa's dropping a trailer. Let's try not to run her over. Straight in the hole, Luke. Straight in the hole. Don't know what trailer she's hitching up to. Oh, she's watching me back. She's watching me back. She's watching me back. Thank you. Um, yeah. I have a feeling she's hitting up to the red one next to us on the left. I think you can see it. Because uh, I think she just put another plate there. Cool. Anyway, that's just done. Engine off. Lights off. Um, we put on rest, do a manual entry in the morning to say when we leave, which will probably be in about five minutes. And uh, yeah, all good. All gravy, baby. So that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Done two little deliveries this morning. Then we've got done a collection and then another collection. So yeah, two deliveries, two collections. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Do feel free to leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and all that sort of good stuff. 
I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. Stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.